What's going on everyone? So I uh, got a, another video here. This is uh, really an update to my video of showing you how to install this uh, aftermarket stereo into a 1993 Toyota Camry. And uh, basically what's going on is, uh, you know, I'm listening to the radio right now and uh, this car has a power antenna, which uh, I'm going to show you here in a sec is not working. So car is running, uh, stereo's on, we're on FM and there's the antenna. It should be up, but it's not. So I'm just going to show you how to fix that. So let's get to it. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. So uh, we're gonna have to take this deck out. So first and foremost, you gotta be you gotta be gentle here. You gotta you gotta pop this thing off. So I just take a flat head, and you just you know kind of be very careful with it. And then yeah, just pop it out until it gets gets loose there, and then you just. Pull that side out and pull this side. You do want to be careful with these because they're obviously old. And then, you know, back here on the cigarette lighter, you got to uh, undo these. So you got a couple here. Just pull this one off. I think this one just kind of pulls off. <sighs> Sorry about that. Just a little tricky with uh, one hand, maybe. Okay, so that one just pops off actually right there from, from in there, pretty straightforward. And uh, this one you just simply pull off. There you go. So just put this to the side. And then this is pretty straightforward, man. I mean, you just got one, two, three, and four screws. And that's it. Um, you can use a Phillips head or a uh, 5 16 socket, I believe. So um, let's go ahead and, and get those off. Okay, so yeah, let me just take them off. Sorry. Okay, so we got one. Sometimes I like to just loosen it with the Phillips and then when I've only got one hand available, this socket's actually pretty helpful. Sorry. We got two. This side's a little bit tougher. You got these wires here. Just kind of move them to the side. Actually, sorry, the thing that's making this hard is on one hand. 
Okay, so there we go. We got these last two. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, and take these off without the camera, because I mean, you get the idea. Take that one off and that one off. So I'll, I'll be right back at you. Okay, so I got those those last two screws out, and now I'm just gonna simply pull this this deck out. And uh, you know, I just gotta move this, give me some more room, make sure your parking brake is on, and uh, you got your foot on the brake. And then, um, yeah, you just simply slide it out. Again, you gotta be careful. These wires over here kind of get in the way. You just gotta go around them. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna turn the car off and uh, get to the wires. Okay, now that you got the deck out, um, go ahead and disconnect these two harnesses simply a button here that you press on each one and they should just pop right out like that okay and then also you might just to give yourself a little more room remove this which is the antenna okay so there we go got the whole deck out so basically what you're going to do is and I missed this when I first installed this, but there's this wire right here that's part of the adapter harness that you get. Um, like in my case, I went to Best Buy, plugged in the ear, make a model of my car, and they gave me this adapter that I would need for, for my uh, Camry here. And then, you know, on it, there's this cable or wire, excuse me, Hopefully you can see that. It's not really focusing in there, but it says power antenna. You can see that. And so basically what you want to do, this will give power, obviously, to an antenna that is a power antenna that kind of comes up and down when you turn the, uh, turn the car on. You want to connect this with the red cables right here. These red cables are what's going to give power uh, you know, when you turn the car on to the deck, as well as the antenna in this case. So you just want to go ahead and, in my case, take this wing nut off and connect this to them. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay. And as you can see, got those connected via this wing nut um, right there. So now I'm just going to go ahead and reconnect everything. And just before I actually, you know, put those four screws in, uh, back here, I'm just simply going to connect these back to these and just test it out make sure it works. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I've got everything plugged back in. I've got these two together. I've got the antenna back in right, right there. Bell, better angle antennas back in right there and I believe I heard the power antenna shoot right up but let's go check and there you go as you can see power antenna is is working it's up good to go all right now that I know that it's working uh, we just got to simply put this back in so first uh, order of business is um, now that everything's back connected, we got to just slide it back in here and make sure the bracket holes mount up with these screw holes, uh, you know, right there. So let's get to it. Okay, so I slid it back in there. Definitely have volume. Power antenna is still up. And, you know, one thing that's kind of uh, good to know is these. this is the bracket. It lines up with these screw holes. There's also a little peg or something right here kind of sticking out that this bracket sits on, which makes it really nice because uh, it kind of keeps it in place when you get ready to put these screws in. These two screws are really easy to get back in, obviously, right there. 
These two are a little bit tricky, especially that one way back there. But, um, you know, you just gotta be careful. So let's go ahead and start screwing this thing back in. One thing I will point out, I'm, uh, I'm on my last screw here. Again, I said these two are really easy. I just used a screwdriver. For these on this side, this one I just got in, and I do think it's easier to use um, a socket. Uh, again, 5 16 um, To go ahead and do that, because you can just simply put the screw in here, and it kind of holds it in there and gives you something to kind of stick the screw in there with. Um, so I just found that to be a little bit easier. Um, so just thought I'd point that out. Okay, I got that last screw in there. Um, so now we just simply have to get that face plate back on that covers this area. Um, and so let's go ahead and do that. So first order of business is just reconnecting these cables or uh, the cigarette lighter, lighter, excuse me. So this one just kinda, that's easy. Just plops right in. And this one, just line it up. Sorry about that. Again, it's hard doing this with one hand. There we go. Okay. Now, let's put this back. So I'm gonna get these wires, the cigarette lighter, and just kinda, kinda, kinda stuff them back in there. And then get this lip under there. Actually, maybe do this side first. Yeah, just like that. There we go. There. All right. All right, there you go. Back to uh, as good as new. So make sure you uh, reset your clock and you know do your presets again, all that good stuff. But um, hopefully this was helpful. If you ran into this issue with your Toyota 93, in my case, this should work or be very similar for 92 through 96 but hopefully this was helpful and uh saved you a little a uh, little bit of money so uh god bless everyone if you like this video please uh, uh comment subscribe to my channel and uh, as always you know let me know of things that i could do differently uh to make these videos better so any uh critique is greatly appreciated god bless take care